Over here, the passenger side, the glow plug wires are all on, greased up, torqued up. A little bit of dielectric still sticking out of there. First, I brushed them up so they're nice, clean copper sticking out. And injectors are all plugged in. Got this wire here left, which goes to the fuel filter um, water sensor. Uh, I'm told that if it's, or I think that if it's unhooked, it will read that you got water in the fuel. So if it does, then I will just take the plug off the fuel filter, cut the wires, wire them together. I'm not going to have a sensor hanging around there just to be banging around. So actually, I could even just cut the wires here and wire them together, but I'll leave that for now. And uh, we'll figure that out later. Up here, this one here is taped off. Went to the EGR controller. Uh, this here was the NOx sensor. Uh, that was right after the turbo and this here was the EGT probe that was on the top of the up pipe coming into the EGR. Um, I'm not going to do anything with those just yet. We'll see what happens. I want to get something hooked up. So I may drill something like this. Knock a hole in there. Put an EGT probe in it. See if I can wire it into this one. I'm going to try to use that stock EGT probe. We'll see. So those are going to just lay there for right now. Um, wires held on with this bolt here in the middle of the head straight above the second injector from the back. Then it's got another one down here, a little small one. Then it's got a Christmas tree over here by the uh, third injector, second from the front, whichever you want to call it. Then it ties in here. Over here, We've got a red wire goes to the throttle plate controller. Uh, the green plug goes to the grid heater control. And this one here went to the uh, the little relief valve or whatever it was called there that was running the uh, return fuel for the for the exhaust or a ninth injector, I guess. So the return fruit fuel for the ninth injector. Again, I don't think I need it. I'm gonna just leave this one out of the way. I am putting my grid heater back in, so this year I'll just wait till that goes there. So this side here is buttoned up. Got my glow plug controller still here. Um, gonna put next thing up. I believe I'm up to that. I don't see anything else here that I need. So next thing I'm up to is the alternator bracket. I'm gonna get that in there, and then this mounts onto the alternator bracket. So that and this all mounts on the alternator bracket. So that's up next. Then after that, I'll probably get up to the Y bridge there. I'm going to put my stock Y bridge back in. So get up to that. I will clean all the carbon out of it. It is really plugged full of carbon. So uh, everything else is nice and clean. It was really bad before. So we'll uh, clean the carbon out of the stock Y bridge. Put some new uh, O-rings on it. And stuff it back in there. And someday when I can afford it, I'll buy a different Y bridge, I guess. And maybe a extra turbo back on uh three bolts torque to 34 foot pounds what that says um glow plug controller module right there torqued up to down on the bottom side this little wire has a bracket that goes underneath this stud and there's a little uh thing that goes on there yet so that'll come up next and then later on this uh dipstick tube will attach to that so we're gonna find that piece um yeah and then before Put anything together i'm going to clean up this surface here of course my gloves are all stretchy because i went out and helped my daughter with the lawnmower but anyway that pull these bolts out clean the surfaces underneath that so we got nice clean surfaces as mentioned before um this bracket here sorry, this bracket here was the uh fuel line previously so the uh the return coming from the filter one of them mounted up here the other one was down here so we'll pull this bolt right out this bracket will be completely gone. Now we'll have a couple of extra bolts. We'll take this bolt out also. Um, no use leaving it there for no reason. Oh, and the one way down there, I forgot to take it out. Let's see if we can right down in there. That bolt there is useless, so no longer needed. So we'll get that out of there. So <clears throat> brought blocker plate on the Y bridge. Gonna use my stock Y bridge as mentioned before. Still gotta keep that grid heater for at least one year to. Make sure my truck ain't gonna smoke like crazy. Um, just took my little Dremel inside there, cleaned all the carbon out. I don't know if you can see down in there properly or not, but anyway, got her pretty good. Right on the elbow, it's just a little patch or two. Come on, get out of there. 
not even going to be able to see it. A couple little spots up in there anyways that uh, aren't perfect, but I got her from both ends fairly good. Um, yeah, threw the blocker plate on there, new O-rings in there. Before I put this in, I uh, went in here and I put a hose clamp on here and moved this thing up. Put a hose clamp on here. It's not quite touching there, so it should be all right. Um, just wanted some extra security there because didn't want fuel pressure to leak in by it's not going to blow that off i know that but i just it didn't want some you know have a leak in here well whatever would be a slow leak but they're super annoying and it's not exactly the easiest thing to get at on this truck so figured i'd give myself a little bit of peace of mind there to hopefully stop any potential problems there um ready now for the y bridge and uh Put the Y bridge in and then the intake arm that comes over here with the grid heater and throttle plate on it. So we're going to put that back in. Yeah, leave the throttle plate in there too. I believe I can, uh, I can buy an electronic unit to plug in to my truck to uh, control the throttle plate like a, um, like an emergency shutdown system. So being that I work in the oil patch, that'll be the plan. So, throttle plate's right over there on the intake. Um, we'll try and run that. See if we can get that unit to use that as a emergency shutdown, and that way, at least I'm legal when I go to drive the thing to work. Working with the fireman helper here. We'll try to make a video of this. Putting the Y bridge in. So, putting the nut on. The one side nut, let me show you here. Down there. You can still see a little piece of paper over top of it. That nut is started and sort of hand tightened. This side here I left on. So you can leave one of those nuts on. You can only leave one on. You can't even leave the bolt on on this side. You can't. That's what I thought, but the bolts aren't long enough to go over the big lip that they put in the bottom. So I already get that bolt in there. Tip that over, please, buds. What I did is I took this little piece of paper towel Oh, here, you want to, can you hold that one too? Never mind. I'll put it on the bolt head right away. Hey, this video is not going to be good. So stick it on the bolt head like that. Stick it in the socket. And then you can just reach your socket down there and keep turning it. Okay, let go. Let me have it. So push it in there all the way. There we go. So... Got that in there, and then you can fish this down there. The other one I've just fished in like that. Now I got this one to go in right down there. Of course, the light camera keeps getting in the way. Now I'm working off the camera picture. So you can just start that in there like such. So it does just pretty much straight laying on the top of the Y bridge. So at least they made a decent angle there that is attainable. So that started. Um, and you can just wiggle and jiggle and pull it off of there. So now you got a piece of paper towel left down in there. We'll get that out of there with a long pair of pliers. So one more to do on this side and the bottom. And the top ones are easy. No idea why they did these slotted holes here. Like I say, completely useless. If the slots would have been sideways. No, it wouldn't have worked anyway, because sideways it would have uh, had to have been compressing the O-rings. But anyway, they put slots on both sides. The bottom one's thinking you could use that. Well, it comes in at a V-shape. The slot doesn't help you anything. In fact, it'd be better with just a hole. So once you get your bolt started in the hole, then it's going the right direction. So, yeah. Again, not a very impressive build when you look at the way this truck's constructed. But it works. So... Get the other bolts put in the Y-Bridge.